Hi. Let's learn about Contra account. A Contra account is used in a general ledger to reduce the value of a related account when the two are netted together. The natural balance of a Contra account is the opposite of the associated account, recording a credit when the related account has a debit and vice versa. An example of a Contra account is accumulated depreciation for a fixed asset. Contra accounts are reported on the same financial statement as the associated account. An example of this is the allowance for doubtful accounts, which is a contra asset account reported directly below accounts receivable. Contra accounts are used to keep financial accounting records clean and transparent by maintaining the original dollar amount in the main account and reducing the figure in a separate account. The four key types of contra accounts are contra asset, contra liability, contra equity, and contra revenue. Examples of these include allowance for doubtful accounts and accumulated depreciation as contra asset accounts, discounts on notes payable as contra liability accounts, treasury stock as a contra equity account, and sales discounts as contra revenue accounts. When a contra asset account is first recorded, the offset is to an expense. The allowance method of accounting allows for estimating the reasonable amount to book into the contra account, while the percentage of sales method assumes a fixed percentage of goods or services will be uncollectible. Finally, those struggling with recording contra accounts can benefit from using accounting software. A major example of a contra account is an allowance for doubtful accounts, which reduces the balance of gross accounts receivable. An example from Amazon's balance sheet notes the balance of accounts receivable as a net amount, further elaborated on in the financial statements. Here are five key takeaways. 1. A contra account is an account used in a general ledger to reduce the value of a related account. 2. They are useful to preserve the historical value in a main account while presenting a decrease or write-down in a separate contra account that nets to the current book value. 3. Contra accounts are presented on the same financial statement as the associated account, typically appearing directly below it with a third line for the net amount. 4. Accountants use contra accounts rather than reduce the value of the original account directly to keep financial accounting records clean. 5. Key examples of contra accounts include accumulated depreciation and allowance for doubtful accounts. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.